in this video i will be explaining the mathematical concept which is behind floyd cycle detection algorithm so in my previous video i have already given a brief introduction of what is floyd cycle detection algorithm so basically it's two pointer algorithm having slow and fast pointer and both are moving in different speed so this algorithm is used to detect whether there is a loop in a linked list or not okay so this is slow and fast pointer and uh, slow pointer moves one step at a time and fast pointer moves two step at a time so basically they will meet at this node okay so they will meet at this node and if it meets then it indicates that yes there is a cycle so after performing this what we used to do we used to put this slow pointer to make it point to the head of a linked list and after that keeping fast pointer at this node and putting slow pointer at the head of a linked list will be moving both the pointers one step at a time and it will meet at this point so basically we need to prove that why this is happening why on putting slow pointer at the head and keeping fast pointer at the node at this node and iterating it one step at a time makes it to meet at this point so in order to prove this what we can do is that we can mark some distance so this is distance m the distance between the head and the meeting point is distance m okay and the length of this loop is n and from the meeting point to this node where slow and fast pointer meets is distance k okay so basically this is distance s which is m plus because a slow pointer moves m distance then after that it moves in a loop and then after that it moves k distance to point to this node okay so that's why it's m plus c1 into n plus k so c1 into n is nothing but some constant number into length of loop suppose the slow pointer moves two times in a loop or three times in a loop it depends on the size of the linked list okay now next is df which is distance traveled by fast pointer so basically fast pointer will also cover this m distance then after that it moves in this loop and after that will be adding k distance to it so that slow and fast pointer meets so basically suppose this is a circle and you are starting from this point so basically if you cover this whole circle five times you will be reaching at the same point again and after that you need to cover an extra k distance in order to reach over here okay so this is done by the fast pointer and as well as the slow pointer so that's why it's constant times into n which is length of the loop for both slow and fast pointer and c2 will always be uh, greater than c1 because distance in a loop by fast pointer will always be more okay now we know that distance travel by fast pointer is twice that of distance travel by slow pointer because fast pointer is moving two steps at a time and slow pointer is moving one step at a time so from floyd cycle detection algorithm we know this okay df equals to 2 into ds now what we are going to do we are going to substitute this equation with this value okay so it's m plus c2 into n plus k equals to this and after substitution and performing some basic calculation we get this value which is nothing but m equals to n into c minus k okay so we'll be getting this equation now after getting this equation what we need to do we need to make this slow pointer move to the head of a linked list and fast pointer will be pointing to this same node and now we'll be moving slow pointer one distance at a time so basically if we assume that this 
uh, algorithm is working or it's valid then flow pointer when it covers m distance will meet at a point okay so let's assume that a uh, slow pointer is covering m distance and it's meeting in this point and it's reaching in this point now fast pointer needs to cover this distance this much distance in order to reach to this point so let's take this distance as d okay so this distance is d now fast pointer is pointing to this node okay so i've already told that slow pointer is moving m distance one by one and it's reaching at this node and fast pointer is pointing to this node now if we look for fast pointer distance then what we can assume is that we can assume that fast pointer has covered something in a loop and then it needs to cover distance d in order to reach at this point okay so we can assume that fast pointer has covered something in a loop so if you are standing at this node and if you cover one rotation then you will be again coming to this same node so that's why i can assume that yes fast pointer has covered some distance in a loop then on adding distance d it will make this fast pointer to move to this node okay to move to this node now what we can do is that we know the value of d the value of d is nothing but the length of the loop n minus k okay so the length of the loop is n the length of this complete loop is n and this is distance k so we know that d equals to n minus k and we are going to substitute this d with cn plus n minus k now i'll be taking common n and it's nothing but c plus 1 minus k and this c plus 1 is a constant itself so we can assume it as capital c minus k is equals to f okay now this is our s which we got because slow pointer is moving m distance that is one distance at a time and this is the movement of fast pointer which is n into c minus k okay so if we compare this two equation if we compare this two equation with the equation which we got that is this equation we got m equals to nc minus k so basically your slope will be this and your fast will be this okay so slow and fast will definitely meet at a point okay slow and fast will definitely meet at a point and yes it's meeting at a point it's meeting at this point okay so basically by this way we can uh, prove that on putting slow pointer to the head and moving it one step at a time as well as moving the fast pointer one step at a time it will definitely meet at this point so this is the meeting point so what i did was uh, like slow pointer is moving one step at a time so in order to reach to this point it needs to cover m distance so for proving this i have already taken it as a valid statement okay and after taking it as a valid statement at the end i got the result true so it means that yes this statement is valid okay so slow pointer is moving m distance and fast pointer let's assume that it covered some distance cn and in order to reach to this point it needs to cover d distance okay so that's why i've taken cn plus d then d is nothing but n minus k and after substitution i got this value i got this value so nc minus k so basically if fast pointer is over here and it will uh, rotate n into c so basically if 
I am standing over here and I am rotating some constant in a loop. I will be reaching over here only. And on subtracting k, on subtracting this k, I will be moving to this point. Okay. So basically, you can see in this diagram that suppose you covered one loop and on subtracting k, you will be moving at this point only, this meeting point only. Okay. And if you are moving one step at a time, from the head on covering m distance you are reaching at this point only the same point only so hence we can conclude that yes this algorithm is valid as per the mathematical calculation that we have calculated